from the Coin Center in downtown Portland. This is Coin 6 News. Watching out for you. A terminally ill woman took her own life this weekend after battling brain cancer and the people who criticized her desire to die on her own terms. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. We have learned that 29-year-old Brittany Maynard died in Portland yesterday. Chris Woodard has been following the latest on this tonight. Chris? Yeah, Ken, and this woman moved here because Oregon allows terminally ill people to end their own lives. And we've been updating you on her story for weeks now. But tonight, we've learned she's done exactly that and taken her life. Brittany Maynard was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer in January. When doctors gave her six months to live, Brittany instantly set out to live the rest of her life on her own terms. The thoughts that go through your mind when you find out you have so little time is everything that you need to say to everyone that you love. Brittany talked about her controversial decision in videos posted to YouTube, making national headlines when she moved from California to a home here in Portland. She announced she intended to die under Oregon's Death with Dignity Act on the day she chose. What's important to you? What do you care about? What matters? Pursue that. Forget the rest. With her decision came criticism, debate. Just this week, we talked with Portland Archbishop Alexander Sample when the Archdiocese released a statement urging people to embrace the difficult end of life instead of quickening death. It's simply a pastoral message trying to open people's perspective to a different way of looking at this. Tonight, we learned that Brittany was surrounded by a small group of friends and family at the end. She also wrote a note to her followers that ended with, Goodbye world, spread good energy, pay it forward. Now, Brittany had originally intended to die on November 1st, but announced this week that that may come later. Tonight, we did get a statement from the nonprofit group Compassion and Choices, who had been posting those YouTube interviews with Brittany. That statement says that Brittany suffered increasingly frequent and longer seizures, severe head and neck pain, and stroke-like symptoms. As those symptoms grew more severe, she chose to abbreviate the dying process by taking the aid in dying medication that she'd received months ago. She died, as intended, peacefully in her bedroom in the arms of her loved ones. Tonight, her family has asked for privacy. Ken? Thanks, Chris.